Welcome to our lesson on proving trigonometric identities for AS Mathematics. So in this lesson, we're going to prove each of the identities from questions A to E. And we'll do this using tan theta, which is sine theta over cos theta, and sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. But before we begin, I want to show you how to derive each of these using a right angle triangle. So we have our right angle triangle. We know that here we have your right angle. Here we have theta. Opposite theta, we have the opposite side. Opposite the right angle, we have the hypotenuse. And the adjacent runs between theta and the right angle. So we know that tan theta is the opposite of the adjacent. Sine theta is the opposite of the hypotenuse. And cos theta is the adjacent of the hypotenuse. So what we're going to do is we're going to write this opposite in terms of sine theta and this adjacent in terms of cos theta. So sine theta is the opposite of a hypotenuse. We'll multiply both sides by the hypotenuse. And these will cancel. So the opposite is hypotenuse multiplied by sine theta. Similarly, here we can multiply for cos theta. We'll multiply both sides by the hypotenuse. And these will cancel. So we're left with the hypotenuse multiplied by cos theta is the adjacent. So now we know tan theta is the opposite, which is hypotenuse sine theta, divided by the adjacent, the hypotenuse cos theta. And we can see that the two hypotenuses will cancel to make one. So we're left with the first identity. Tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Okay. So now we're going to prove the sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. If we consider this right angle triangle, we can apply Pythagoras' theorem. So the hypotenuse squared is equal to the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. And just like we did a minute ago, we can write the opposite in terms of sine, which is the hypotenuse sine theta, and we are squaring it, so all squared, plus the adjacent, which we know is the hypotenuse cos theta. Again, we're squaring it, and this is the hypotenuse, which we've called h squared. So now when we square sine theta, we write this as the h squared, which is this h here, and then we write sine squared theta. So this means sine theta all squared. And then we're adding this to h squared cos squared theta. We can factorize out the h squared. So the hypotenuse squared is h squared over sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. We can divide both sides by the h squared and you can see this will simplify to make one. So we have one is equal to sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. So now I hope you understand where these two identities come from. Okay, let's move on to solving question A. So for question A, we need to decide are we going to use the tan or the sine squared plus cos squared, or clearly we're going to use the latter. So we're not at sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one. So now we can take away the cos squared theta to make sine squared theta the subject. And these two will cancel. So we're left with sine squared theta is equal to one minus cos squared theta. So we've proven the first identity. Okay, for question B, 
I'm going to make the left hand side equal to the right hand side. So I'm going to expand that the product of sine theta plus cos theta multiplied by itself. So I begin with the sine theta squared, so sine squared theta, and then sine theta times cos theta, which is sine theta cos theta. I do this again for the second term. And then finally, cos theta multiplied by cos theta, which is cos squared theta. We know that the sine squared theta out of the cos squared theta will make one. And we've got two sine theta cos thetas. So one plus two sine theta cos theta. And we've proven the right hand side. Okay, let's move on to question C. Okay, so for question C, we're going to use the tan theta identity. So I'm going to write this tan theta in terms of sine and cos. So we have the sine theta divided by the tan theta, which I'm writing as sine theta divided by cos theta. I'm going to write this as a division with fractions. So this numerator becomes sine theta divided by one, divided by sine theta over cos theta. Now we know we can't divide with fractions, so I'm going to change this division into a times. So we have sine theta over one, multiplied by, and I'll work out the reciprocal of this fraction, which is cos theta over sine theta. So by doing the opposite, changing this to a times, flipping this upside down, we can write it like this. And you can see the sine theta and the sine theta will cancel. The one we can cancel, so we're left with cos theta. Okay, do you want to try and prove the identity in questions D and E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so I'm going to begin with tan squared theta. I'm going to make the left hand side equal to the right hand side. So I know that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. And when I square this, I get tan squared theta is sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Now I can write cos squared theta using this identity by taking away sine squared theta from both sides. Because we can see that these will cancel. So we're left with cos squared theta is one minus sine squared theta. And now I can substitute this back into here. So this is sine squared theta over one minus sine squared theta, which is the identity proven. Okay, if you haven't had a chance to do question E yet, do you want to try and do it now? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so to begin this question, we can notice we've got two common denominators, sine squared theta and another sine squared theta. So we can write this of a one denominator. So we have one minus cos squared theta over sine squared theta is equal to one. So I've just worked out the difference between these two. So now we can work out what one minus cos squared theta is by again taking away sine squared theta from this identity. So these will cancel. So we're left with cos squared theta is one minus sine squared theta. We'll substitute this back into our fraction. So one minus one minus sine squared theta all over sine squared theta. We'll expand out this bracket so we've got one minus the one plus the sine squared theta all over sine squared theta. One take away one will cancel to make zero and sine squared theta divided by itself will make one. So we've proven the right hand side. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.